Cowboy Chaz Custom, Custom Model Cars, coming at you guys with another exciting model kit review. And this model kit review is on a very exciting kit, and I'm glad to have it as part of my collection. I was a little iffy at first. Um, my kit I'm talking about is a 2017 Camaro 50, um, 50 Anniversary Edition by AMT. So there's the box art and everything. Very awesome kit. I'm very hesitant because of my last... Um, deal that I had with the AMT uh, Camaro that I put together which is like the snap type version had a lot of fit issues and problems with that kit so a little hesitant but um I saw that I saw this at Hobby Lobby searching for the uh, Bronco kit which um I didn't score that day instead I scored this one because um they sold out the Bronco kit so and it didn't have a price tag on it and it's kind of they barely got it in I guess and they had it marked as $24, but with the 40% coupon, I got it for $14, which is sweet. And my cat is in the way. Excuse me, bud. Got to move. Slide your butt that way. Thank you very much. Hey. <laughs> Just sit in the middle. So, um, again, it's a very, very beautiful kit, and I do highly recommend this. On a scale of 1 through 10, just going through all the parts and looking through everything, I do give this kit a high 9. Um, because of the, the level of, of, of detail in this in this kit, it's just mind-blowing that what AMT could really produce if they put their minds into it, you know what I mean? So, or um, round two or whatever. So, there are some little flaws here and there, but um, that doesn't um, just, you know, detract from all the stuff that's going on. There's The suspension itself has 20 pieces, I believe, so that's amazing in itself. And I do put this up at the level of um, the Coca-Cola kit, the 57 Coca-Cola. And Half Fast did a uh, model kit review on the Cindy Lewis one as well, uh, Cindy Lewis 57. So check out his video. He did an awesome, awesome review. I enjoyed it. So um, but both of them, you know, have that level of detail that this kit has. And hopefully AMT will stick to it. So, But anyways, um, looking at the box art, as you can see, you got the picture of the car here. Um, you get a picture of the rim and part of the tail light here. Then you got a picture of the um, car here. And then it repeats itself here. Then on the back here, you get the front end, the rim, 50 logo here, or 50 badge. And then you have what the features are and everything like that. And then, of course, um, the different languages here. On the back or the bottom of the box, you have all your information here. And you've got your list of parts, your little diagram here of what's included in this model kit. So which there's a lot to share with you guys. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and crack this uh, bad boy open and show you guys the contents. Opening up the box, um, as you guys can see, it's loaded with parts in here, so um, there's no room. <laughs> so um, but there's there's a lot to go through. Uh, this bag has your clear, which is a um, two-piece bag here. You have your um, bag, part, bag of parts number one here, bag of parts two here, bag of parts three here you have your body with the um, chassis stuck on there and they added a rubber band to keep everything together you get your one set of chrome here which is your rims and then whoops sorry about that you guys I just knocked you over oh wow it's a disaster and then here you have your tires here and then of course you have your um, instructions with your decals inside and this one is not like a book. It does open out like a map. So you can see the diagram here. But there it is. So they do have call outs for where the decals go and everything like that. So, but there's all your assembly instructions. Over here you have some information here, some colors and stuff like that. And I gotta keep my cat from stepping on my stuff real quick here. Um, and then here you got some more information. The decals are really nice itself. It's in this nice protective bag with the um, plastic or the uh, wax paper here. There's the instructions on how to apply them. And then here's your decals. It's got the carbon fiber decals going here. Different instruments going on here. Your different um, radio face plates. You got all your little license plates, all your logos and badges here and stuff. You got some marker light details as well. So very nice decals, nicely um, nicely printed, very crisp. So it's pretty pretty cool.
Next up is the um, the body, which is in, uh, molded in this uh, metallic gray color. Uh, there's a few mold lines here and there that do need um, some attention uh, to get rid of. And you got a couple here in the back that runs down here and right here. Uh, the emblem is molded in along with the uh, brake light and some of the badging and then some other little details here and there. But a lot of mounting holes, which makes um, assembly a breeze. You also got your antenna molded in. It's got a lot of nice raised um, detail here and there. Door handles are molded in. Um, got some flash to clean up here. The plastic is a little bit brittle, a little bit thin, but overall it's pretty nice. Um, the front and back um, clips are molded in together. Um, now just a suggestion, if you ever get this kit or if you have this kit, you could remove, carefully remove this front end here uh, due to the fact because you have an open grill that fits over it, okay? That shit sits like this. So as you can see, um, you could basically see right through it. So, or you could opt it and opt to leave it in and then just detail paint it or whatever. So, just a little suggestion. You don't get hood hinges with this, which is kind of a letdown. So you have to make your own. Mold it in windshield wipers. Um, over here you don't have to worry about too much of this because it will not be seen but you do have to shave this down a little bit for everything to fit comfortably the injector pin marks and stuff so but it does have mounting pins for it should make uh, assembly a breeze and then moving on the chassis there's nothing much going on here it is molded in black um, but under here you've got a lot of detail going on just as if you would with the real thing so very nicely done So here's the, um, the par uh, parts bag number one. It's got the, your bottom front grill here and stuff. And then you've got your um, your radiator um, support here, your rad support or cross member if you want to call it. Very nicely detailed, crisp molding, not a lot of flash going on either, especially in the holes here. So that's pretty cool. On this tree you have um, engine parts here for the LS engine. I guess it's an LS engine, I could be wrong. Um, but a lot of nice raised detail. It is two halves. So there you go. There's your oil pan with the molded in um, oil filter. You can remove that and make your own if you want it to. It's got a mounting pin there. There's your starter. There's the uh, front cover to your engine. Uh, there's your fan. Your uh, headers. Uh, this one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these two here are the rear axle. So it's two piece for the rear axle. This is the pumpkin part. So you're getting a, a glimpse of one part of the suspension here, uh, tw one part of the 20 piece suspension. So overall, everything looks really nice. Minimal cleanup needed. Um, assembly should be, be pretty okay. There you go. Here you have your um, front cross member or your your front cross member molded in lower A arms. This is your um, exhaust system, very nicely detailed, and it's got the molded in cross member here. And then there's another cross member for your transmission, and then you have your cylinder heads here, part of the engine. Um, this is more part of uh, the engine here for the engine bay. I'm not sure what that is. There's the um, fuel tank. Or not fuel tank, uh, this is the exhaust system with the exhaust pipes coming out. So overall very nicely detailed. All molded in black. And then this one's your um, your brakes, which are very nicely detailed as well and not a lot of cleanup needed. You got your calipers, your rotors. So let's look at that detail. Back here you don't get much, but um, which actually come to think about it, it's kind of a letdown in a way. Because you could actually, well these you'd be seeing through the rim. These you'd be seeing through the back side. So um, I could be wrong. Um, they might not be seen, but to me they just, I don't know. I don't know. 
I'll have to see later on. But overall, it's still very nice. In this bag, um, you have your hood and your spoiler and your side uh, mirrors here, all molded in that metallic gray. But just to share with you guys how thin this plastic really is, you can see right through it. So very nicely detailed and everything like that um, going on. Same with here. Um, you do have to remove, carefully remove these injector pin marks that are all here. That's decorating the bottom of the hood, but overall it's very nice. So the mirrors have the uh, molded in lenses. So you just use your chrome pen or whatever uh, to mark those in. But overall, very nice parts. Very minimal cleanup. And this one, um, it's all molded in black. This is a mix of your engine and your chassis parts. So here you have some uh, chassis parts, your rear suspension cradle here. Uh, very nicely detailed and everything. Um, steering tie rod, your front grille with the molded in bow tie chassis detail here. Uh, the engine cover with the um, valve covers here um, molded together. There's part of your electric fan there. Uh, rear, rear diffuser, more chassis parts. See if I can get that clear, there we go. And this is your front suspension parts here. This is the spindles. This is your upper A-arms. Um, here is your windshield wipers here. So overall, very nicely detailed, very minimal cleanup. And then over here, you have all your other parts. Um, these are your pins for the front and rear axle. This is for the uh, front of the bumper. But for the most part, you have all these parts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 11 parts, 12, 13, already there for your um, rear suspension. Um, and this one here too as well, I believe. This one I believe is for the engine. Uh, that's gonna be for the coolant thing, I guess. This is your fan belt, pulley system, another hose thing here, your air um, system here. And then you have this engine bay, which has a lot of molded in detail, including the battery, which is really, really nice and crisp. So there you go, all molded in black. So a lot of parts on this tree and a lot of parts regarding the uh, rear suspension. Okay, this is the last bag of parts. So let's go ahead and get to it. These parts are molded in like a silver color. These are your um, headlight buckets, which have very nice detail in them. Of course you got your mounting tabs here. These are your exhaust tips here. So those are cool. Got the mounting holes there. So very nice, very a uh, little minimal a uh, little bit of cleanup, very minimal. This is your license plate frame for the rear and this is your rear view mirror. So very nice again. It's got the molded on star thing too. There's your mounting tabs. So there you go. And these parts are molded in black of course. These are your these are your door panels here, which are really nice. But the disappointing part is you get injector pin marks there and one in there. So but overall I don't think you could see those inside. So but the speaker detail is very, very nice. Um, and other details as well. Then these are your front seats here, your bucket seats. And then here's the backs to them. I have to show you like this. So it's pretty nice. So overall, um, minimal cleanup again, but overall very nice. And then uh, last but not least, here's the dashboard. Very nicely detailed and everything like that. It's got the molded in the um, air vents throughout here. You got like some kind of tray too right here. So there you go. Pedals are molded in by the way. There's your steering wheel, um, steering column and your shifter. So very cool. Very nice raised detail and everything like that. And then here's your interior tub which is nothing to deal with down here. But here's the top part. You got your molded in rear speakers, rear seat, and center consoles all molded in. Same with your um, two other pedals here. So don't like molded in pe uh, pedals or console, but um, this is this is okay. So 
you got your mounting holes for your seats and everything like that so again overall very very nice oh and you also have molded in a seat belt um, buckle things here too or the uh, things you click your belt into well guys this concludes my model kit review on the uh, 2017 Camaro 50 edition by AMT and uh, <laughs> my cat has no class he's just laying there looking I'm just chilling um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments below what you guys think what your thoughts are and everything um, like I said this is a great addition um, to any collection uh, great for all levels and um, yeah if you're a car guy like me you know this is something to add and, and trust me I don't think this is gonna be like the snap edition so I know not all the Camaros are bad but just probably the one that I got so but anyways um, so I'm just very happy to share this one with you guys I have more model kit reviews coming um, to you guys, so be on the lookout for those as well. Um, but other than that, um, let's just relax and look at that. Yeah, my little my little five year old. He's a big cat, let me tell you. He's tall, uh, lanky, and everything. And his brother is like short and tubby. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I got two um, two kinds of tabbies, so. Anyways, you guys, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, don't have any more for you guys, so keep your head up no matter what through all the struggles. Keep hope, keep faith, keep up the great work, keep on building those models, keep doing what you're doing, keep having fun, keep doing it for the love of the hobby, keep being true to yourself. And uh, most of all, don't bring your egos and your beef to the workbench, keep it 100. And because uh, egos and beefs can, you know, kill the vibe, you know what I mean? So, and another thing, I know we're all busy, I know we have a busy life and whatever, and got a lot of stuff going on. Um, try to answer back to your fans or people that have questions and stuff like that. Don't ignore them or shine them on like a new shoe. Um, I do my best to try to answer back to everybody and to watch everybody's videos. So have the same kind of respect uh, for other people. Other than that, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. So until the next video, it's your boy Chaz Custom, Custom Model Cars, signing out. Peace.